I mean, I would say in Mayfield, people are still in shock coming to terms with what's happened here in the last week now that it has been seven days. Uh, we just saw some new video come out that shows you surveillance video inside of a bank, which we're actually standing outside of right now. Believe it or not, this is the, the drive through teller where you would go. Absolutely. It's through. what's left. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm joined by Brooke. She worked inside this building at the bank here. Uh, this video, what went through your mind when you saw it? You know, I was on my, I was driving yesterday and our CIO text and he said, you've got to get here right now. We have the surveillance. The server was unharmed and he said, people need to see this. They need to see how destructive this tornado was, how fast in the blink of an eye things are gone. And it was. And we're right in historic downtown of Mayfield where, I mean, there, there might only be a handful of historic yeah. buildings left. Yeah. That's what people are saying. So to have video like this, I mean, I, I don't know if anyone else has really seen how fast the tornado came through. You could see yeah. the seconds just going yeah. by on it. Um, and you don't want to go viral on anything. Like, you know, you're, as a marketing director, you're always like, man, let's get great content. But a tornado, that's not what you want to be the thing that goes viral. But it, people need to see how destructive and how quickly it destroyed our town. I, it stood out to me, you could see, you know, initially the power drops and then the Christmas decorations oh. go flying across the inside yeah. of the room. I mean, did you lose any belongings that were inside if oh, that was yeah. your place of work? My office was hit very hard. Um, I, I have a week old printer, color printer that was in my office and maybe someone somewhere will find it someday because uh, it is not in anywhere in the bank right now. So, um, you know, th there's... We salvaged what we could, but everybody is just so glad to be alive. No employees were har you know, harmed in this. No customers were in there, and that, that's all that matters. Absolutely. In the days after, you know, I, obviously they've got the windows boarded up and the building is boarded up. What were some of the first things you had to do to, you, you talked about protecting, protecting people's identities. Yeah. Uh, and there was a vault full of money inside. Uh, our vault, it, you know, it, it stood the test of time. Our safe deposit boxes, all of that is safe. Customer information is safe. That was the most important thing. Make sure that that is safe. And our uh, construction crew that actually built this bank, they have just, sent an army of uh, people that work for them and they boarded us up almost instantly as we we're getting things out they were working just diligently the entire time uh, just you know make sure to protect the physical bank and and keep people out of harm's way that just want to come in and see the damage that's happened in here and now that we're on day two of just on and off rain i mean really all day long how has that impacted recovery efforts for you here we, most everything is out that we were going to take anyway. We're, we're already set up. We were fully functional. Uh, we were ready to roll on Monday. Uh, most of our offices were even operating on Saturday mm -hmm. after this. So, um, you know, we got what we could, and, you know, what's left in there is, is destroyed. So so this bank has nine offices in uh, in the state, and then yeah, so we're, you were, were able the, to function at another office for yeah, now? Yeah, and we're, we're kind of at a... a you know, we're at a technology park now where we're set up and we're fully functional there. It's, it's a different living quarters for everybody, but we'll make it. We're going to be fine. We're going to be stronger after this. Hearing lots of stories about strength and resilience in the, yeah. in the days after, guys. Back to you.